What is going on everybody? My name is Jabes and welcome to another episode of Paths of Power getting started and we've picked up Jan Kobay of Newcastle. So we've got another French player from Newcastle added to the side. We're going to put uh, Cums or Cooms and we're going to send him to the trade pile, list him for 12 hours, probably list him for three days if he doesn't sell. Start price 200, buy now 500. We're going to make coins on him without a doubt in my mind. Even our non-rare bronze player from the Saudi league that really had poor stats here. He even sold on so there's always a chance for your bronze players and your silver players to sell on and I encourage you if your coin budget is tight list them up give them a chance and see if they do indeed sell on now I make a huge mistake here and I don't check the fitness levels of my players Kabai, uh, Yanga Mbiwa and Debushi are all extremely low on fitness and that is well, that's kind of a massive error to make, but I went out and checked the market for a left back because mine is out of contract and I prefer not really spend coins on a contract, but he is a bronze. So it's really easy to just pick up a bronze contract and a bronze pack, 400 coins. You might get a few fitness cards in there, totally worth it. But I like to keep upgrading the team, add some silver players to it, add a little bit more pace and see where that is going to leave us. But we're going to head on into, uh, I think we're going to go into the Gold Cup maybe, or the El Clasico Cup. As you can see, this is a little while back now, uh, but it was coming up. I thought about making a BBVA team for it. I did not, so I'm going to have to get on today, check what the new tournament is, and see where that leaves us. You can see the Gold Cup, 3-0. I'd like to get that gold pack for winning the Gold Cup. That's kind of what my target is at this point in time. The Jong, out of contract, no big deal. Have a bronze, and actually a few gold ones in there as well, and the gold ones will want to sell on over the weekend because that'll allow us to make a few more coins um, from what they normally be worth during days that people would be opening packs and days that people are opening packs are going to be your Mondays and your Wednesdays but you guys have heard me before and I'm sure that sounds like a broken record now I'm going to go out and uh, I think I go what do I go looking for right here oh a new goalkeeper because Gillette is no longer on nine chem however I do have two BPL center backs, so any BPL keeper will do. Put a bid in on Tim Howard there. I think 400 coins, but for uh, an 81 rated keeper for 400 coins is not too shabby as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and we are actually going to get him, but I derp again and don't think I actually put him in the active squad. So I was having a heck of a day when this was going on. My FIFA brain was a little bit shut off, uh, as I'm sure happens to you guys from time to time as well. Maybe not, though. You guys are, I know you guys are the best uh, when it comes to FIFA, so. I'm sure there's no derpiness out there from you guys either, but we, as you can see, we leave Gillette in there. Don't put fitness cards on the Newcastle players on the right side, which is just another massive fail. And we come up against this guy who's got a pretty darn nice Liga BBVA side, side with the addition of Rodrigo from Benfica, Santi Cazorla from Arsenal, and I believe that was Jose Enrique from Liverpool as his left back. But he's rocking a 4-3-2-1 formation as well, and sometimes this can be a bit difficult. As you can see, though, Ben Arfa really, really lucky to keep uh, control of that but Kevin Morales nice little bit of step over action gonna try to find just that little bit of free space and uh, working it all the way around gonna find Witzel in the middle to Nangle on lovely through ball to Kabai and Kabai goes top net the best net in the 34th minute and luckily enough for me at this point the fitness wasn't becoming that huge of an issue but this guy was a pretty strong player and he answered back very very quickly uh, with Rodrigo who is actually seems to be an exceptionally strong non-rare gold Spanish striker so if you're looking for someone to pick up throw on your bent and have a little bit of fun with Rodrigo might just be your guy. Uh, but you can see it. 1-1 one, one now the score. And now we're a little bit later. Axel Witzel stepping inside and he gets clipped right there. Unfortunate for him. Wonderful work from Witzel for me. And that's going to be a penalty kick. We're going to give it to Eden Hazard as he's got the highest penalty kick rating in the side. Going to go straight up, straight down the middle. Wanted to get a little bit more top net action. And when I go straight down the middle, I just count 1-1000 one, out in my head. So not 1-1000, one, 2-1000 one, like you're going off to the side, but just 1-1000 one, one, straight up, straight down the middle. And more often than not, if they do not hit up on the right stick, they will not be able to save it. Deflection after some poor defending finds Jesus Navas in the box and he knocks home to bring us level at 2-2. Two to two. Now we're 57th minute. Slow, slow build up this guy, as I said, pretty darn strong defender. You can tell he's not really diving in. He does right there, though, and we make him pay Kevin Morales just enough ball control. A little unfortunate that he's not four-star skills in this FIFA. He was last year, and he was very much fun to use because of that. Three-star skills this year, though, and he can still get the job done. Three to two final score. 
and I need some more coins. Nine thousand or ten thousand six hundred eighty-three coins. Some guys have sold on, as you can see, pretty darn good stuff there. I everybody sells eventually is kind of the way I look at it, unless it's of course your terrible, terrible, terrible players. As long as you list them for a competitive play, price, you'll be able to sell them on. And look at those that fitness action. Kabayo was really low. Young and B was sixty-nine. I've got to do something to address that. And I went out and I thought oh, I could just buy, you know, a uh, Fellaini to link it up because we were playing with a player on seven chem. That was an angle on our center mid and Fellaini would allow everybody to be on nine chem. So no, I went out and I threw a ton of bids on him. Then I went out and I looked for some fitness cards and gold fitness cards. Little known fact, they're starting to get pretty darn pricey or more than I want to spend. So 150 is really all I want to spend. I think I pick up one. I had to go for a gold one right there because B was down to 69 fitness, which means even a uh, silver one would only take him to 89 fitness, which is pretty terrible. But I went out and I bought a few bronze packs because you really never know what you might get in a bronze pack. And if everything sells, if you were to sell everything on in a bronze pack for 150 coins, you would easily make your money back. You only need to sell four things of your bronze pack for 150 coins to make your money back. And if you get some fitness cards, you'll be able to sell them for buy now 200. And that makes it really, really easy. But I didn't pick up many fitness cards. However, all of those contracts will keep my players going for at least a game or so. If you think about it, you get about 500 to 700 going, coins per match that you play. One of these bronze packs is 400 coins you get at least two or three contract cards so you'll be able to play those on your player and at least play another game and slowly maintain your team that way if you need to be thank you guys for your support and thank you all for watching if you did enjoy this video like a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated other than that my name is japes and i will catch you all next time